What a beautiful day. Absolutely gorgeous. Blue sky everywhere. Here's the problem. That's no good for landscape photography. So, I'm just on my way to play five-side football, actually, which is why I'm dressed a bit like a... I suppose it's like someone going to play five-side football. This is one thing that, as a landscape photographer, I absolutely hate. I do not like these blue skies. They are wonderful for sitting out, chilling out, having a beer in the garden, whatever, in the beer garden, at the pub. They are absolutely rubbish for landscape photography. Because generally, for landscape photography, you need either sunset or sunrise, golden hour, or you need dramatic clouds. You know, dramatic skies, dark clouds and so on. This is boring sky. However, in the right location, you might just be able to get something. Let's give it a go. Well, let's put pay to that then. Might be about to... Uh, be sprayed with something quite noxious. So I've retreated to the gate and uh, what I'm going to do is I've got these leading lines. This is going to be a great video but now I'm sort of rushing it. So um, I've got these leading lines. I'm going to use these clouds and we're going to use a circular polarising filter. Okay, I'll talk about the settings when I'm doing the post-processing. The whole point I'm trying to get across is these, if you've got a blue sky but you've got these cirrus clouds and you pick quite a simplistic kind of um, scenario, it can really work if you change it to black and white. That's what I'm hoping is going to work here. Right, he's disappeared over the brow. Let's have a go at this. Again, I'm going to try and get a shot before he gets in my way. Too much shadow in the foreground. Oh, I haven't rushed a shot like this in years. I had this all planned as well. Oh. It stinks. One good thing is the sun is going slightly lower in the sky. He's just going round the tree up there. He's going right round it. Hmm. Probably should have shot then. Mistake. Probably would have been rubbish. I don't want a tractor in it. Or whatever that is. Right, let's get him out of the way. Uh f6.3 f7.1 no must have clicked it f6.3 12 mil circular polarizer to bring out the vividness in the green and in the sky more importantly i want to give you down quite low because i've got these i'm using these leading lines in the foreground it could be good this is such a rush such a mess this is not bad though. This is sort of coming to me now. Anyway, he didn't mind me being in his field. He was a nice guy. He uh, gave me a little wave. I thought I might be in trouble. No footpath in this field, but I was on the edge. We've got to go now. Okay, I'm going to go and play football. You lot chill out. And uh, when I've done that, we'll, um, I'll do some editing. Okay, so I've been out a run round. I'm come back, I'm nice and refreshed. I've got the images onto my MacBook that I took when I was out. And I've been through, I've chosen one, and what I've chosen it on, based on, is essentially the best sky. The clouds are moving around all the time. I obviously didn't have very long there, but I've managed to find myself one where I think the sky is, um, has got enough interest that we can do something with it. Now, as you can see at the moment, it's just a very, pretty bland washed out color image this is obviously the raw we could do something with it color wise um but i i really don't think we'd get much much out of it i mean you know all we can do color wise and we'll have a let's give it a go is um you know we can up the contrast a bit we can bring down the highlights to just try and get this cloud out a little bit more um we can have a little play with the clarity again to bring the cloud out a little bit more we could do the vibrance which would sort of but i you know to me 
to me this is still a, a really quite a dull image now bearing in mind what we just done let's leave it like that and let's just go up here and click on black and white okay that's simple now it's still not a very striking image but uh, a few iterations ago uh, Lightroom Adobe introduced into Lightroom um, this dehaze slider now used with caution this is absolutely superb and I love it so what I'm going to do is I love it with black and white it's kind of like a contrast on steroids if you like and I'm going to whack this up and we can see how that brings out this sky okay if we turn that effect off wishy-washy on fantastic okay we to me we've now got a starting point now you could say well won't that work with color well to me in color look at that sky it's just like someone's gone mad on HDR so no is my opinion it can work sometimes but it really works in color as what it genuinely is if you've got a hazy image it will dehaze it and you use it very lightly uh, what I love is in black and white you can really go heavy on it so we've got what essentially now and if we drop back to what we had originally okay which was this wishy-washy image and then we go to black and white we, we, we're, we're getting somewhere I still don't like it okay and I'm going to go a bit further on it uh, really we don't have to do much more to go further on it um, we've just got to jump into this black and white module here okay and what we've got to do these these sliders here all address the colors that are in the original image so if you are if you take the blue slider which is the first thing we're going to do and you pull it down you are darkening the where the blue is in the image so let's give that a go because I want to darken that sky now we're talking now we've got a really you know we it's getting really really very intense and uh, bold and stark now um, now this down round the hill here is going to be sort of an aqua color you you can choose up here a little dropper and go down and actually pull that down that's actually doing the grass okay let's undo that um, let's just choose the aqua I chose too high. You can see this is just darkening it just above the horizon. Just because, I mean, that is an aqua. It's going from blue and it's, it's got a bit lighter. Um, so we'll pull the aqua down and then we'll just see what we're going to do with the green. I, I want the image quite, quite dark. We're not going to do too much with the green. Now, essentially, nothing else is going to change very much in this image at all. You know, this is a very, very quick edit. If I wasn't talking so much, it'd be even quicker. The only thing... I'm I'm pretty happy with with where we are. We you know we've gone from this tedious washed out image to we've gone to this very stark black and white. And the, what what makes it is these clouds, these beautiful cirrus clouds in the sky. It's not a bad scene. It's this tree that I've been to time and time again, and I will continue to go back to because it's very close and you know it's just a good place to go. But the only thing that really is missing now is these leading lines because we have kind of darkened this field and the leading lines have got darkened now we can try you know you they're what they're a yellowy color now we can have a look again we can go back to color but actually they're a greeny color sometimes if, if you look around here yes they're yellowy but because they were in shadow they are excuse me they're not so we can't even go into the black and white and bring up the yellow that's actually bringing up the yellow element in the grass which actually is not bad to just lighten that up a tad okay so what we're going to do is we're going to use our selection tool and we're going to just draw here a selection and we're going to and apologies if I kind of forget how to do this on here because I normally do this on the iPad nowadays I normally do all my editing on the iPad however I did say in a recent video that I was going to do all my editing on the iPad for the, for the purpose of these videos however it's not um, 
it's not really as conducive and most people are still doing it on the Mac, on the Mac or on the PC so it's just a bit easier but everything I'm doing here I do on the iPad I would normally do this edit on the iPad so all we're going to do is we're going to up the oh and there's one thing we don't get we need to um, invert mask on this so at the moment what we're doing is we're doing everything outside that selection so we need to do everything inside that selection and we're just going to bring up and you see how that just brings out that track if we extend that a little bit, change the angle a bit, and we've got it nice and feathered. Okay, we might need to feather it a little bit more. So that would be very harsh. And if we feather it about there. Okay, and we'll do another one of those, or we could just copy that one. But let's uh, let's do, and this is where I completely forget because I do it on the iPad all the time. Um, I completely forget how to do a new one. There you go. Uh, it's much more obvious how to do it on the iPad. And so we're going to do another one here for this track. And we're just going to pull that back so it's sort of disappearing out. And you can see that it naturally kind of has this taper. And so we pull that up like that. And we're going to do exactly the same thing. Invert mask, exposure, bring that track up a little bit. Got to be careful about how we do it, but something like that. The other thing that's quite good to do on these is is to whack the clarity up. Um, but you've got to sort of do a bit of a little dance between the two, but that can help bring things out. But I, I'm not going to go too mad here. Um, you know, we could put one there. We could carry on. You get the general gist. Let's just undo that. And essentially, that is the image done. If we go full screen, there is quite a striking image. Now, there is more we can do. We could uh, try and darken the sky a little bit more here, which wouldn't be too hard. We can we could pull down a, well, if we bring the aqua and the blue down, we can probably go a bit darker on the blue. The other thing we just quickly drew, do is have a little play with the whites. And the blacks. So what do I, I'm looking for a quite a dark and moody image. So there we go. Essentially, that's how to take what is a, a, a incredibly dull, but in my opinion, boring kind of scene that's just not working in colour. And this, were always for me, was was going to be a black and white image. I saw it in black and white when I was at the scene, and it's always because of these serious cloud. If you go to my website at richardwalkerphotography.co.uk. You'll see I've used this a number of times. You know, I see these cirrus clouds nice and high in the sky making these amazing patterns and I think black and white image. I've done one of, uh, one of a beach like it um, with the groins going out on the beach and this sky at the top. I've done one of a tree just sort of on its own, a close-up of the tree which is, is pretty nice. And this is obviously a tree. One more thing that I might do is do a selection around it and try and just make this tree stand out a little bit more. I'm not sure it needs it because I think it stands out pretty well on its own. But uh, there you go. That's how to um, compromise a little bit on your shot when a tractor comes along uh, or a sprayer, sorry. And uh, um, considering the rushed shoot and the uh, fairly quick editing, I think it's not a bad shot. Thanks very much for watching, hope you enjoyed it, uh, hope you learned something, if you liked it please click the like button and if you want to see more uh, please click subscribe. I've been a bit slack on videos lately which is slightly annoying because I've been in lots of nice places, I've been to the Scottish Highlands, I've been to the Peak District and I didn't do any videos at all while I was there, which was stupid. Uh, that's going to change, just got myself a drone so I'm going to do a bit, doing, if I don't crash it while I'm learning too much I'm going to be able to do a bit of filming with that and I'm hoping to ramp up the videos and do them pretty regular now um, and get to some nice places and shoot some nice scenes but I will continue to do this theme of just choosing fairly mundane places locally and trying to great, get great images out of these fairly tedious mundane kind of places you'll probably see a lot more of this trip thanks for watching see you soon